we can calculate the Ka from the pH of a solution. So for example, we have lactic acid, which is monoproduct. That means for every lactic acid, every mole of lactic acid, we get a mole of, of H plus potentially. But we don't because it's a weak acid. So we have to calculate what is the Ka if we have a pH of 2.44 and a 0.1 molar solution. Now recall that the Ka is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration times the concentration of the conjugate base. And it doesn't really matter whether it's lactic acid or any other weak acid. They're going to have a hydrogen concentration. It's going to have a concentration for the, for the uh, conjugate base. Now since it's monoprotic, these two are going to be one to one. And if it wasn't, we would just say, okay, two times or one time or three times or whatever. And then we would have the non-dissociated acid on the bottom. Now if we use our ice method, we have initial and change and final. And our initial and our change for conjugate acid and the conjugate base, we'll go ahead and set this up. Our initial would be zero because we dissolved it in there. Same thing for the conjugate base. Our change would be our final concentration which is given by our pH. And our final would be the concentrations given by the pH. Now the unassociated acids, it's going to start out at 0 0.10 molar and it's going to be dissociated partially and it's going to lose amount of concentration that's equal to the final concentration determined by the pH and it would be in fact 0 0.1 minus the H plus concentration for the final. And you can see the finals they just plug in like that and the final here is 0 0.100. Now we're going to assume since it's, a, since it's a weak weak acid that this term right here is going to be very small compared to that number and then we can just ignore it. And if we can ignore it, we just need to put in these final concentrations. So why don't we go ahead and get the H plus and the AH minus first. And we've got, let's see, to get the concentration, we take 10 to the minus of the pH. So the H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH and that's 10 to the minus 2.44 and that gives me 3.631 times 10 to the minus third and that's the concentration of H plus and it's also the concentration of our conjugate base. This number 10 to the minus third is a lot smaller than 0.1 so we can ignore this term for the denominator. So now we'll just go ahead and plug them all in there. So we got the H plus concentration. Well, it's this. We have our conjugate base, which is the same as the H plus concentration. And we can divide it all over by the molality, the molarity of the solution, 0.10. And we put all of this in our calculator and we get a Ka equal to 1.32 times 10 to the minus fourth. There's our Ka for lactic acid or really any acid that's monoprotic in a 0.1 molar solution with a pH of 2.44. Okay. Now, if we had not ignored this subtracting off of this term, if we'd not ignored and went back and did the calculation again, Ka would be 1.36, which is a percent error of about 3%. So there you go. Got a Ka from uh, molarity and pH.